Yo guys, welcome back to another video on our channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can get gold ARs very, very quickly in a Call of Duty Cold War. Just quickly before we do jump into it guys, if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned off for more camera guides, tips and tricks, class out videos, and all that good stuff for Call of Duty Cold War. As you can see, I've been uploading a whole load over the last couple of days, and I'm going to keep doing so over the next couple of weeks, just to get you guys as much information out as possible on this channel. If you do enjoy the video, it does help you out. Smash the thumbs up, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below, but I'm going to jump straight into it right now. So guys, like I said, we will just work through each and every different like camo for each AR. And as you can see, if I just come down here to the Krig 6, we did officially get gold on the Krig yesterday. It took me about three, maybe four hours in total. And the longest part and the most difficult part probably was leveling up the guns. But once I worked that way out, which I have got a video up on my channel about leveling up guns. So if you want to go check that out, you're more than welcome to do so. And the first camo you do have to get is 300 eliminations with the Krig 6 in multiplayer. Which is absolutely easy, like this is going to come as you're doing every single other camo in terms of all of these and just leveling your gun up as well. And you'll easily get 300 eliminations. I think one of my mates said he got about 1200 kills with the AK to get it to max level. I'm not sure how true that is, if it's uh, bang on or if it's a little bit hit and miss. But it's probably around that sort of amount, so to get 300 kills is very, very easy. That's just going to come as you are completing the rest of the challenges. In terms of the stripe challenges, it is 100 headshots. And people do struggle with headshots. Hence why I made the video that I did yesterday, which is all about how you can get headshots. If you haven't seen that, basically all I cover is, one, if you're struggling with headshots, go into bot lobbies and just practice hitting headshots. Like, just practice aiming high and getting them headshots. Just put it on a really, really easy difficulty. Max out the bots that you can and just everyone you come up against, make sure you're hitting headshots. Like, don't, don't worry about... Aiming, aiming low like you're better off hitting shots and missing shots above their head and dragging it back down to hit them headshots rather than starting down here and trying to drag it up before you do kill them with a chest shot it makes it a lot easier also the easiest tip for headshots is playing hardcore and the reason for this is one bullet to the head in hardcore is a kill so as soon as you do hit that headshot it's going to be the kill and that is exactly what you want as long as you can get in behind someone if you see someone standing still making sure you're going for them headshots when they're absolutely open and just easy to get so yeah, headshots can be pretty easy to get. If you do want to go check out that video that I did mention about the easy headshots, it was literally like the last video uploaded on my channel before this one. So go check that out and it will help you with this a lot. To be honest, it really, really is helpful. And then in terms of the classics ones, guys, it is five bloodthirsty or get, get five kills while dying 20 times. And basically, this is very, very easy, guys. You just want to slow yourself down, play really patiently, especially if you're not a great player. Some of the better players in the game, like some of you guys probably are the better players, and you will just be able to run about easily, get five kills without any problem, and this will come easy to you. However, those of you that do struggle with the five kills in one life, that is absolutely fine. Just slow yourself down. I'll get a video coming out on how to get bloodthirsties really, really easily in the game pretty soon. That'll be in the next couple of days, so keep your eye out for that. But bloodthirsties, you just want to really, really slow yourself down. Just hold down an area like, say you're on... I don't know, for example, the checkmate map. And you can just hold down underneath the plane or just on top of the wings or something. There's a bit of cover there. Just keep yourself behind that cover. Just slow yourself down. Let them come to you. Don't go chasing the enemies. And when you're on four kills, don't panic. Like That is what a lot of people do, especially those players, like I say, that don't really get five kills in one life very often. They start to panic when they get four kills. And don't do this. Don't panic and start chasing the kill. Just play as you have been for the first four kills and chill out. Just, just play slowly. Let someone come to you. Make sure you've got footsteps that you can hear nice and loud so you know exactly where they are and you're going to be absolutely fine, guys. you just got to chill out. Let the players come to you. Bloodthirsties will come nice and easy. It's only 20 of them. And once you start holding down a certain area, you guys are going to realize how quickly you do get these. You'll probably get two or three a game. And the better players out of you will probably get five or four a game without any problem. But yeah, guys, Bloodthirsties are pretty easy. Like I say, I'll get a video covering Bloodthirsties and the easiest way to get them in the next coming days. So then in terms of this camera right here is get 50 long shots, which again is quite easy. My biggest tip for long shots is always play hardcore. Put a sight on your your gun that you can see quite far away. Like Put a three times sight on it and play hardcore. And it's the easiest way you can get them done. Like It's the fastest method that I know to get long shots. And some people don't like doing this because they don't like using a random sight or they don't like playing hardcore. But if you actually want to get the camos done, Nice and quickly, I would 100% recommend playing hardcore, putting a sight on like a three times or a four times, get them kills done nice and easily. Obviously, a long shots with the AR, I believe, is something like 48 meters. I believe it's something like that. I could be slightly wrong there. If I am wrong, please correct me in the comments below. I apologize if I am. But I think last year it was about 48 meters, something like that. But yeah, like I say, just put a big sight on, play hardcore, and like I say, one or two shots every game in hardcore, like every person you see on long shots, is very, very easy. And maps to do this on a checkmate. Uh, on Checkmate, I actually covered one of the best spots in my long shot video. Again, if you want to go check that out, I'll go into a bit more detail on long shots. But yeah, like I say, 
checkmate and satellite's the best one playing hardcore and satellite and just getting out to that side where there's no coverage just the sand dunes you're gonna get lots and lots of long shots because people will be sniping people will be running across there as well and it's just nice and easy guys to get that one done so in terms of the next camera, which is the Flora one, I'm going to get a video out on the Flora ones pretty soon because a lot of people seem to be struggling with this one. And I understand why it is a bit of a grind. I couldn't quite clock it until I worked out what it is. And basically, it is the 75 enemies detected, stunned, or blinded by your score streaks, equipment, or field upgrades in multiplayer. Therefore, meaning use stuns, use flashes, use smoke grenades, and that's pretty much all you can get away with. I use stuns. I found stuns worked better than any of the others. And... Uh, you have to get the kill as soon as it says stunned enemy. You can't throw a, throw a stun in a room. It stunned them. It start to wear off and then you kill them. It doesn't work. It does not count it for some, way, some, for some reason. I don't know why. That's a really, really strange thing. But so as soon as you throw that stun, make sure you're stunned and then you kill them. The way that I done it personally was I got in the room with them. I made sure I had attack mask on. I, st I threw a stun, stunned myself and the enemy because I had attack mask. I could still move around faster get the kill and then it's done pretty quickly and that was the easiest way that i found to do it was just stun yourself and get them done that way if you as soon as you are stunned and they're stunned get the kill otherwise it's going to stop counting it literally is about two seconds within that stun kill where you can get it and without after that two seconds it's pretty much game over you're not going to get the stun kills and this one's a proper grind i'm not sure if they need to adjust it a little bit i like the fact that a lot of these camos are a grind for someone that can put eight hours a game a day into the game as i sit here streaming it as my job and all this other stuff however some people that come home from work and school and can only put three or four hours in a day are going to struggle because one the weapon leveling up takes a long time two the camos are a grind like i say this one doesn't clock very very easily you have to get it done to perfection otherwise it's just not going to work and it can take a while uh, in terms of the science ones, shoot and kill 50 enemies taking cover from you in multiplayer. This means you have to rip them off the head glitches or wall bang them. And they're the only two ways that you can do them. I covered the science camo in detail fully uh, just a couple of days ago now. And basically what it is, guys, if they are behind a cover, you need to be able to see the top of their chest, shoulders and head. And that is all you can see. If their foot or leg is sticking out the side of their cover, doesn't count. If you can see like middle of their body and above, doesn't count. It literally has to be the top of their chest shoulders and head that you can see and if it's not that it won't count guys so make sure you're staying further away that the closer up to a head glitch you get the more of the body you can see so you want to be really really far away and just backed right up as far away as you can from the like, mo like most popular head glitches and just try and get them that way guys and like i say also wall banging does count so if you see an enemy run behind a bit of cover start wall banging them guys try and hit them through the wall because that will count as one of the 50 enemies taking cover from you because you've shot them for a wall, you can't actually see any part of their body, and therefore that does also count. But like I said, if you want some more uh, little tips and tricks on this one, then go check out the, the video for the science camo. Like I said, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go into further detail with all the camos individually as well, not as well as just camo guides. Obviously, I'll be doing SMG sniper and all them different class setups and camo guides as I'm doing now, where I'm trying to give you guys the best tips on each. Uh, camo but then i will also tell you to go and check out each individual video for the certain camos as well so that you can get a little bit more detail if you're still struggling with it or to see some good spots for it but yeah like that's like i say that science one is pretty easy once you get used to it and finally it's the psychedelic ones and this is get two or more rapid kills uh, sorry get two kill two or more enemies rapidly 25 times in multiplayer basically get two double kills um or sorry get 25 double kills and this one's really, really easy, guys. This one's just going to come as you're playing. The amount of times you're going to get double killed. Play something like uh, Hardpoint or Domination and just play for the objectives. Or don't play for the objectives. Play near the objectives and you're going to get loads of enemies sort of backed up in, in twos. And it's just really, really easy, guys. Very, very easy to do. Especially with the, the, the size of the maps on this game. They are very small uh, map sizes. So there's always people next to each other. And, of course, that will then unlock gold. And you then need to repeat all of this five times on every assault rifle or just one time on every five assault rifle. And, uh... Or all five assault rifles, sorry. And you will unlock the diamond camo of then course. So you can then get dark matter once you unlock uh, diamond on every single gun. But if this video has helped you out, guys, be sure to smash a big thumbs up. As I am interested to see who it does help out. Like I say, I'm going to be going through camo guides for every single class. I'll be going through SMGs, snipers, LMGs, launchers, tack rifles, uh, pistols, shotguns, all them different things. I'll be going through a video like this one I've just done. And then I will also make separate videos for each camo to go a little bit further into detail for you, those of you who still may be struggling after watching these videos. And that's fine, guys. If you guys are struggling, that's absolutely fine. Some people are a lot more like uh, used to doing camo grinds and stuff like this. For some of you, it may be your first time because you now want to start using them in Warzone or something like that. 
And that's absolutely fine, guys. Like I say, I'll be covering everything on this channel. So make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on. I'll be doing my very, very best to cover everything within the game. If there's anything you want me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. I'm making a list of everything that everyone wants to see. So whether it's five people want to see the video, I'm still going to make sure I make it just for those uh, that small amount of people that do need to find the video and do want to watch it themselves. So like I say, let me know if there's anything I can help you with in the comments below. And I'll either reply to the comment or I'll make a separate video on it. Also, smash big thumbs up if it did help you out. Subscribe with notifications turned on. Follow me on Twitch with notifications turned on. And we'll catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.